I'm back. I'm trying to figure this shit out. That's all it is. And then once I learn it, I'm going to start going live all the time. We say, welcome to TikTok. I don't have my glasses on, so I can't see this shit. We are knowing if I am. Okay. I'm back. Who out there? I don't know. I don't know if that's on the sticker. What's up, everybody? I might as well do this shit live. I was trying to do it. So, I, you know, because I, like I like to upload my videos on YouTube. Because that's why I had a big following. I had a big following on YouTube at one time talking about boxing. When people always ask me that I used to box. Yeah, I used to box. I was a good amateur. I wasn't a good professional. I ain't going to hold you. We're notifying. Okay, good. I was a good amateur. But like I was saying, it's getting kind of cold out here. That's why I didn't want to stay out here long. Can't put this thing up no higher. But like I was saying, you know, we were talking about Tyson and stuff like that. And I was telling people, your fights don't be set up. But if you got a good matchmaker and if you got money behind you, they're gonna they're gonna do more for you to make sure that you get fights that go in your favor. And that don't mean you're gonna go in there and beat the guy up, but they're gonna get somebody that's gonna make you look good. I mean, you never know. If you could fight, you could fight. You don't matter who. Like, like, um, like when I was at Don Turner, Don Turner used to say, if you could fight, you could fight. If you can't fight, then you don't need to be in this shit. So, you know, like I never had easy fights. You know, that's why I guess, you know, it just wasn't for me. And, you know, like I said, a lot of guys get bad habits and the amateurs and they take their bad habits with them into the professionals. You know, they do. See, in the amateurs, you could get away with certain shit because you're only fighting three rounds. I got to sleep warm. <clears throat> but in the pros is different. You fight them, uh, you fight four rounds, then uh, eight rounds, then ten rounds. That shit is a different league, man. That shit is different, yo. That shit is different. People were saying Tyson fights was set up. You gotta look at Mike Tyson. He was 5'10, and at his best, he weighed about 212. 212. He was a monster, man. 5'10, 212 pounds, and he was all muscle. And most of that shit was in his legs. That guy was bad, man. Some of his fights was easy. That's the guy for. You know, when he. He was a lot older when he met Holyfield. But hell, Holyfield can fight. He can fucking fight. And he, he could fight. And just think, I, he was like, uh, I ain't gonna hold you. I think he was about 154 pounds when he first started. If you go on YouTube and Google like his old fights. Oh man, he was bad. That dude was bad. And, and see... He, he ate himself out of a lot of cont out of contention because remember when they had that fight with uh William Joppy, Felix Trinidad, uh it was William Joppy, Felix Trinidad, it was four, it was Keith Keith Smith, I think it was, something like that. It was another guy. It was four, it was four middleweights. It was William Joppy, Felix Trinidad. Uh damn, who else is that? Who? Roy uh, Bernard Hopkins, and it was one more middleweight. It was four of them. But uh, James Tony didn't fight in that tournament. It was four, and it was all to see who was going to be the world champion. And that's how Bernard Hopkins ended up fighting Trinidad, because Trinidad moved up to 160. Trinidad ain't belonging at 160. But William Joppy, like I told you, William Joppy, he liked to wear them plastic suits. 
And them plastic suits is the sign of a guy. You ever see them guys running with them plastic suits on? That let you know they're trying to lose weight real fast. And when I saw William Joppy with that shit on, I was like, oh, man. And he got knocked out by Trinidad. And Trinidad was 147 going up to 160. There's no way in hell Trinidad should have beat William Joppy. You see how Bernard Hopkins made William Joppy. You see how Bernard Hopkins made Trinidad look. And you see how Roy Jones made Trinidad look. Trinidad, he's a great, great fighter. But he didn't need to be at 160. He had no way, he had no business being at 160 pounds. They should have killed Trinidad when he moved up to 160. But Trinidad likes to eat a lot. He liked that Mufongo. He liked that Mufongo. He liked the Aros con Pollo and the Abichuela. But Trinidad could fight, boy. He was bad. He was a little skinny ass dude. Tito Trinidad, he was bad, but he ain't belong at 160. You see what happened to uh, De La Hoya when he tried to go up to 160. Bernard Hopkins says, sit your ass down. Bernard Hopkins hit him with a liver shot and knocked the shit out of him. Knocked him out. He ain't belong up there. Yeah, Trinidad ain't belong at 160. Trinidad would have said at 147, he just could have cleaned out the division and retired undefeated. But uh, back to James Tony, he could fight, boy. He just liked to eat. He couldn't beat the, he couldn't beat the kitchen. He could beat anybody that stepped in that ring with him, but he couldn't beat the kitchen. He could fight. Boy. He could fight. And James Tony is only like 5'10". I think him and Tyson is about the same height. I'm going to look it up. I'm not sure. I think, <laughs> I think James Tony and Mike Tyson are about the same height. <laughs> but he was bad. I don't know. That's just the way people had. James Tony just can't beat the tick. He couldn't. He just Puerto Ricans going to grow afros. Some of them. Not all of them. Cotto was, I like Cotto. I, I mean, my man was Trinidad. I like Trinidad. But I like Pennell Whitaker better. Like I told you, my three favorite fighters is Pennell Whitaker, uh, Larry Holmes, and Evander Holyfield. I love Pennell Whitaker, boy. Yo, I be getting mushy when I talk about boxing. Because I love, I love that shit. But I love to see a guy with grace. But you get to know the ring. You get to know your steps and shit in the ring. I stand. I st well, this is our turn. Try to hit the guy with the top of your knuckles. You should warm up with your gloves on. Why? Wow, I don't know, huh? No, fuck, I don't know. They're trying to jack my video. <laughs> Who is that? I don't have my glasses on. I can't see. But, like I say, turn your punches. Turn it. Turn it. See, I broke this hand right here. I broke it. You hit the guy in the head. Hit the guy in the head. You ducked that hit him. But y'all, I'm going to get out of here, y'all. Right? It was good talking to y'all. Yo, if y'all didn't know, I have a book. I have four books I self-published. Three of them is poetry and one is a hood book. It's called Corner Stores in the Middle of the Block. It's poetry. Agitation Gets the Dirt Out. That's poetry. And Don't Beat Your Children or They'll Turn Out Like Me. That's poetry. And then I got a novel. And it's called Pretty Ugly, A Harlem Situation. 
get my book, man. You can use Cash App. Dollar sign, number one, Brad Bathgate. B R A D B A T H G A T E. Hit my book up. You inbox, you use Cash App, and I'll mail the book to you myself. So don't remember, I mean, so remember to leave an address so I can mail you the book back. All right? Dollar sign number one, Brad Bathgate. And my books are selling for 30, are selling for uh, $14 to $15 and $3 for shipping and handling. All right? Hit me up. I make boxing videos to sell my poetry book because I'm, you know, I ain't boxing no more. I like to show you guys stuff. All right, y'all, take it easy. And stop drinking milk and eating cheese. It's bad for you. Eat fruits and vegetables, all right? All right, y'all. Take it easy. I'm trying to turn this shit off. Don't be laughing.